Hi, my name is Adiron Kiadi Banjo. I am an on-air personality on Smooth 98.1 FM, and I'm also a blogger. I love to talk about love. So I have a blog called The Love Chest. It's thelovechest.blogspot.com. So I talk about my thoughts, my conversations with people, my observations about love, and yeah, so that amongst other things that I do, I'll just leave it at that. We are talking about how to hook two friends up. So we all find ourselves in those situations. I mean, I know a lot of amazing single people, right? So we all find ourselves in those situations where you know two amazing people and you think, these guys are like perfect for each other, right? And so you're thinking, how can I get these two people together? So that's what we're talking about today. If you want to hook two people up, you have two amazing friends and you think they are a match made in heaven and you perhaps want to be the Cupid, I'm going to share with you some tips on what you can do. Now, personally, I'm not really the kind of girl who will be overtly uh, or who will put it out there and say, hey guys, I think you're perfect for each other. Here's her number, call her. That doesn't always work and you don't want to do that because if things go wrong, who are they going to blame? You, right? So what you want to do is you want to be just a little bit sneaky and create the kind of environment that will help them gravitate towards each other. What do I mean by that? For example, I try to get people together as often as I can. So whether it's a game night or it's just a small networking event, get the same kind of people in the room, right? And then invite these friends of yours, the guy and the girl that you think are a match made in heaven, and just bring them to the room and let things happen organically. Now, make the introductions as you do with everybody else and see if they gravitate towards each other. Now, what's interesting is you might find that they're not even interested in each other and maybe what you thought they were both looking for was not what they would find in each other. So you don't want to be the girl who's overtly, explicitly saying, hey, I think you should meet this person. Because again, think about it. So if you do that and then they meet and there's no chemistry, they don't feel each other, it's going to make it a little bit awkward and they could potentially be friends. So you always want to leave room open for friendship, right? So you don't want to put people in an awkward position where they now feel like, okay, we're really supposed to be dating here, but we don't really like each other. So what do we do? You don't want that. So I would say create an organic situation where they can meet, gravitate towards each other, and they're adults, so they can take it from there. You want to make sure that you're speaking to your friends and asking them specifics. Delve a little bit more into what they're looking for character-wise so that you don't waste time hooking them up just because he's a fine boy, right? Or just because he's a funny guy. Maybe there's specific things that she likes in terms of character. So you want to make sure that you're asking the right kinds of questions before you even make an introduction so that nobody's time is wasted. So here's another scenario. So your female friend comes to you and says, I don't care. I like that guy. I think he's really nice. I think he's really cool. A lot of people say there's no place like home. But at Limelight Hotel and Suites, we have a place that's just like home. Limelight Hotel and Suites is located in the serene and homely countryside of Agoyewoye, Ogun State. Limelight Hotel and Suites offers you nothing but the best in hospitality and facilities that you will not find anywhere. We have three bars, an oriental restaurant with a guarantee of uninterrupted power supply, and reliable internet facilities, not forgetting our ATM machine and POS terminals to give you the ease of cashless fun. Come relax and retreat into the calm embrace of Limelight Hotel and Suites. For more information, log on to www.limelighthotel.com or email us on info at limelighthotel.com or call us on 0807-097-1904. Limelight Hotel and Suites, taking you to the limelight. What do you do in that situation? Well, there's a few things you can do. So if you know the guy really well, you can give her a heads up and say, well, I know what you like. I'm not really sure if this guy is what you want. All of that, you can, you can go that route. Um, or again, you can create the environment, right? Where they can actually meet. Guys are hunters. They take their gear, they go into the forest and they hunt. Sorry ladies, I'm not trying to make you sound like prey, but you understand the analogy. So if a guy wants to go get a girl 
He doesn't want to feel like he's been helped. He wants to feel like he's done the work and he's successfully conquered the girl, right? And he's gotten the girl and she's his. So if your female friend comes to you and says, I kind of like that guy, you don't want to go up to him and say, ah, my friend is checking you out too, you know? You don't want to do that because it kind of kills it for the guy. Again, you want to create the environment, you want to introduce, you want to find out from him if he's checking her out. So you're being a little sneaky, yes, but <laughs> you're not being overly explicit. You're helping each other, you're helping both of them help each other out, basically. Here's what you should never do when you want to hook two people up. You see a guy, you see a girl, you know a guy and a girl and you think they're great. Pressure is the last thing you want to put on these two people. I mean, getting into a relationship is work, it's challenging, it has its ups and downs. You don't want to be the person that's putting pressure on these people. So, if either party likes the other party, just help the situation along. But don't always call the guy and say, so, have you called her? What did she say? Or vice versa. You don't want to do that. You want to just let, these are adults, let them go at their own pace, let them create their own rhythm. Yes, you're excited because your friends could potentially be getting together, but you don't want to put any pressure on the situation. So that's it, guys. Um, that's my advice on how to get two friends together, hook them up if you feel like there could potentially be something there. Maybe you think that they're a match made in heaven. But let me do a quick recap if you're trying to hook friends up. There's four things that I think you need to know. Number one, as much as possible, just try to create the organic situations that will help them meet. So put together a game night and bring them both there, but don't be too explicit about the introduction. Number two, if your friends are trying to, you know, if one of them comes to you and says, I really like that guy, try to find out a little bit more about what she's looking for. Because while he might be a fine boy, she might be looking for something more. She probably is looking for something more. So rather than waste two people's time, try to find out a little bit more about what she wants and see if that guy has it, right? Number three, don't put pressure on your friends. If you've hooked them up and they've hit it off and they're talking, step away. Don't put pressure, have you called her? Has he called you? All of that, they're adults. Let things happen naturally at their own pace and at their own rhythm. Don't stress them out. And of course, last but not least, you wanna make sure that you're stepping away from the situation, especially if things get a little muddy and they're having issues, don't get involved. Just step back and allow them to deal with their issues so that it doesn't come back on your head because you were the initiator in the first place. And that's it. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tips I had for you today. My name is Adironke Adibanjo. I'm an on-air personality on radio, and I'm also a blogger, and I run the lovechess.blogspot.com. That's my little baby because I love love. Thank you for watching. Yeah.